I use AI generated art to create this animation inside of After Effects and I want to show you how you can do it as well. Now, of course, this After Effects tutorial will show you how to animate any image, make it come to life and look awesome. So you don't just have to use AI generated art, but please be sure to drop a like on this video and let's get started. Be sure to download our project files for free with the links in the description below. For those of you that want to use generated AI art, I created this art piece at getimage.ai. The model I used was Elden Ring, so I guess like the game. Then I typed in my prompt so the AI would know what I wanted. And then the important part is the resolution. I set the width to the max resolution and the height to 576. So this would generate a 16 by nine art piece. Then start generating images until you get the piece that you like. Once you get an art piece that you like, 1K resolution is gonna to be too small. So you can click on upscale, which will convert the image to 4K. Then once that is done, you can download your AI art and import it into After Effects. So the most likely thing that you're gonna to wanna to add to your images are weather effects, which are very easy to do. So for example, what I can do here is go to layer, new adjustment layer. I'll rename it to weather. Now we go to effect simulation. And depending on what you wanna do, if you wanna add rain, add the rainfall effect. If you wanna add snow, add the snowfall effect. I'm gonna add snow. And you can adjust this effect however you see fit. So I can add more flakes, I can increase the size, I can lower the speed, increase the wind so I can change the direction of the snow. But most importantly, I wanna increase the opacity to 100% so we can actually see it. So now we have the snow fall effect in here and it looks really good. However, the problem is, is that we don't want this snowing inside of our house. We only wanna keep this outside. So if you're in that scenario, you can grab your adjustment layer and grab the pen tool or the rectangle tool and you can come in here and we can start creating points to create a mask. You know, and this will allow us to keep the snow outside and tell After Effects, hey, we don't want this to be inside our house. So go ahead and just mask around the areas where you want the snow to actually be. And you'll see with one mask here, we have our snow just outside in this one window. So then I can take this and continue to create mask around all the windows here. So skipping ahead here, I have all my masks done. And so now you can add snow or rain to your scene and keep it outside. Another great thing that you might wanna do to make your image come to life is to animate the lighting of your scene so it can be more vibrant. So we'll go ahead and create another adjustment layer. We'll go to effect, uh, color correction and grab brightness and contrast. And I'm gonna alt click the stopwatch for brightness. Now I'll come here and type in wiggle open parenthesis 2 comma 40. And this will create an overall flicker effect on our image. However, I want to isolate this to only the areas that have light. So I'm going to come here to the top, grab the ellipse tool and just start creating a mask around some of these light sources. So right here, the fireplace, maybe somewhere in the bookshelf, uh, maybe right off the screen here and some other small areas within our image. Then I'm just going to hit F on my keyboard for mask feather, select all of the mask and just feather these out. So it's a very subtle effect, but anything that you can do to bring animation to your image is gonna make a massive difference. So now I've gotten two techniques that you should definitely take a look at on every image that you're working on. The next technique that you should absolutely consider doing is applying a noise effect. So I'll go ahead and create another adjustment layer and go to effect, uh, noise and grain and add noise. If you like grain, you can add grain, but I'm gonna use noise here and I'm gonna set the noise amount to maybe 12%. And this is a very important effect for me because without the noise effect, all the pixels in your image are gonna be static. Uh, but by adding noise, all the pixels will be moving and that's exactly how you know things on camera are shot. There's always some level of noise. So that's why I suggest adding noise uh, to your image. Okay, so what about add an atmospherical effect? So you see here that we could add some smoke maybe right here on this piece. Uh, and there's also a fire. And I feel like we're obligated to add that for this piece. So depending on your image, uh, figure out what atmospherical effects that you can apply. So for example, uh, I have this asset here that you can download for free if you download project files, uh, NRG effects pack, which is a fire asset that I can just click apply and add it to my project. And like I said, you can download the project file for free and just get this and we can just position this right on top of our fire. We can scale this in there and you don't have to use like a cartoon type of effect. You can use real fire assets. You'll just have to look it up. Uh, and then one thing I'll do is just mask this in here. So I can grab like the rectangle tool or just the pen tool. And I'll just kind of mask this in here best I can. I'll go ahead and turn it off for a second. All right, now that I have my mask, I turn this back on and there it is. And make sure that you put any assets underneath all the effects that we've already applied, like the noise and the lighting, so it can blend in the scene as well. All right, so we have this one asset in here, but how do we keep it repeating forever? Because, you know, maybe you want this to be three hours long. What we can do is take that asset, right click on it, and go to time, enable time remapping. Okay, you can then alt click the stopwatch and type in loop out with the capital O, open, close parenthesis, just like this, and that should be good. This will then loop the animation for however long you want it to be. So for example, you can just drag out the out points 
and you know, give you three hours long. Now let's say we wanna add some smoke to our image. Well, you can use another third party asset or you can create it yourself, which I'll show you how to do real fast if you wanna work with smoke. So we'll come here to layer, new solid. We'll call it smoke. Then we'll go to effect, noise and grain, and we'll add uh, fractal noise. You know, don't worry so much about this effect. All we're gonna do is increase the contrast to about 120. Go to the evolution, alt click the stopwatch, and just do a time asterisk uh, 200. Then we go to the transform tab, add a keyframe for offset turbulence, move forward all the way to the end of our work, and we can just animate this map to go up. So this will be like the smoke, you know, rising, if you will. Then all we need to do is hide the layer for a second, make sure it's selected, and just grab the pen tool, come here, and just kind of create like a, like a rough mask here to create an area for our smoke, kind of like this. Then turn that layer back on. Toggle switch to the modes until you see the blend mode and set it to screen. And then hit F on your keyboard for mask feather and feather it out. And if you want to make it more noticeable, just duplicate your layer by going to edit, duplicate, and as you can do this a couple of times, so now we can actually see the smoke layer. So now it looks like we added some quick smoke into our scene. All right, one last element I want to apply to our scene is very subtle camera shake, which is very simple to do. We'll come here, uh, we'll go to layer, new null object. We'll grab all of our elements and we'll parent it to the null object. Then just hit P on keyboard for position and all click the stopwatch and we can type in wiggle open parenthesis 0.5 comma 50 close parenthesis then you might just need to hit asterisk keyboard for scale and scale up your image to get rid of the black border so you lose a little bit of detail but now we have this nice element of camera shake to our image and it's really looking good and with a few easy steps we've made our ai generated art come to life so now all you got to do is just add some music some sound effects and you have a beautiful scene if you're new to our channel hit that subscribe button as we post multiple after effects videos every single week and always be creating